So I bought this engine. It's supposed to be a good runner. I took it apart to look and get the balance gears out of there because they was really sloppy and they're, they weren't, that's a whole different story. But anyway, the balance gears are gone. And I seen a crack up on the, one of the fins on the head and it's right there where it could go into like by the exhaust valve and stuff. So I didn't want to put a whole bunch into this. They said it was a good runner. I seen the wear, I plastic gauged it, and it said it was right on the outer limits, so I tried it and it knocked. It doesn't, it sounds great to it gets warm after you've been mowing for a half hour, it starts getting a knock in it, a slight knock. I can feel a little bit of scratchiness with my fingernail. That's not good. But let's measure it and see because if you measure this you have a better chance of knowing whether your rods on a fit a lot of people won't measure they say oh well, that looks good rod looks good that I took out so we're just gonna put a new rod in it and then it knocks and they've wasted their money so let's get all the oil off of this and all the oil off the micrometers and then we'll start measuring okay this is a sheet out of a Kohler book it tells you what the size for the um, crankshaft is. Here's new, max wear limit, max out around, and taper. Those are the ones we're concerned about right now. You can see here that 1.5000 to um, 1.4995 is what new would be. The maximum wear 14.990. Anything smaller than that, you're done. Now for out around, it's a half a thousandth, point zero 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 five. So anything over a half a thousandth out around, it's reject. And the taper from one side to the other is one thousandth, point zero zero one. So <clears throat> what we have here is I wrote down reject size one point four nine nine zero is for a standard size rod. I know we're ten thousandths turned on the crank so we're looking for a 1.4890 is our smallest we can have the rod journal. Now I did have that rod out and I did see if you get on a Kohler and you get a over, an undersized rod I guess you'd call it um, ten thousandths or something it'll have a little hole drilled in here in the center. So if you see a solid rod it should be standard. If you see a hole drilled in it, that means the crank's been turned and this is an undersized rod. Oversized, whatever you want to call it. Now here is, is a half a thousandth. That's what we're allowed to have as an out around this. Here is one thousandth. That's what we're allowed to have as a taper on that crank. Here is the crank and this is where it drops for the rod. I just put this on there so I know that I'm measuring this way. The next set of measurements will be front to back or the, you know 90 degrees to this. And I got flywheel written down here, M for middle and PTO. So we're going to take three measurements here and three measurements here. This is the P or the flywheel side down. So we're going to take one measurement here. Don't get on that rounded web part. Stay up on the journal part one in the middle and one on the top same thing over here and we're going to write all those dimensions down now you want to take a lint free rag a paper towel can leave lint back and mess your measurements up so we're going to start down here at the um, flywheel side and we're going to just take our measurement see what we come up with I don't know if you will see that or not but it's right on the 14 mark, the one right below the 15, if I don't bump it. But that would mean that you got one inch to start with, so you're up past the four, so that'd be four thousandths. Your three little lines, that's 75 thousandths, and then 14 thousandths on top of the 75 thousandths, which brings you at .489. Okay, 
that's max wear so right now we're starting out at max wear so we're flywheel side on there I'm gonna write down 1.4890 now see you get that fourth place on these micrometers with this vernier scale this micrometer would be a whole lot easier for you guys to read and see but it doesn't have a vernier scale so it only goes three places past if just say like right there it's in between the two lines these each one of these is a thousands you would have to guesstimate if it's in the middle quarter or two-thirds of the way up three-quarters of the way up so that vernier scale is really nice when you're wanting to be measuring in um, a half of a thousands so let's go up to another one here you know the crankshaft journal still has to be smooth and stuff like that for this to if the crankshaft journal has a bunch of gouges or something in it then you're probably going to want to get it turned anyhow you got to make sure that you get this some seems easier to use than other micrometers for this I think a lot of it is the condition your anvils are in but you know if you tip this a little bit anyway that's why you got to kind of fill it out if you tip it in any way you're going to get a false reading and right there I don't know if you guys can even see that but we're right back onto the 14 again one below the 15 so we're going to write that measurement down so we wrote it down over here 1.4890 let's do our next measurement again stay toward the top but don't get on where it's been machined that corner of the web say so take your time make sure you get a accurate measurements right there again I think I'm anyway it was right there it's on the 14 again so it's so all the way across we had the same measurement which is good even though it's right at the verge of being out of the limits so now we'll measure instead of up and down this way you know the other direction and we'll put our measurements down here in the same spots again I can't stress enough dirt oil lint whatever you want to call it will affect your measurements you know we're going to a half a thousands here so it's all in the field two people might get different measurements to an extent it's all on how you do the micrometer but it don't take you long once you start doing it you'll um figure it's pretty easy that one there okay you can see that one there definitely between the 14 and the 15 line it's not all the way to the 15 so now we got to go up here to the vernier scale to these numbers you match the lines up over here and you come to these numbers it looks to me like the five is the line that matches the other one starts shifting on the other side of the line and now we're gonna come up here and we're gonna try to do it about halfway somewhere in there halfway now let's measure up here at the top make sure your anvils are clean don't go up into that rounded web and try to make sure you're you're square to it and I got off the high spot. Like I say, you'll you'll if you buy a micrometer and try to do this, it won't take you long to figure it out. So we're kind of in the same place between the 14 and the 15. So we could guess, couldn't we? Where we go up here to this Bernier scale. The one that matches is with the six. So here's what I got. Um, our our outer roundness could come into play here. The taper, it looks like, you know, we're 0, 0, 0, 0, 6, 5, 5. So the taper is not a play here than what I've measured so far. This is right at the limit of being worn out. This and this and this is at the limit of this out around this. See, we're only allowed 5 and we got 6 here. So what I'm going to do 
is wide out these extra lines and I'll just go ahead and do it and then I'll give you our results. I'm going to go ahead and measure each one of these again and I'm going to do it again. And if I get the same measurement, good. If I get a different measurement somewhere, then we'll measure one more time on that one and see and take the average. You can see here that I was consistent on these ones and I wasn't as consistent on this measure in the other direction. So I contribute that the way I'm doing it is probably me getting a skewed reading this way but I was only one tenth out but the first time I got a half a thousandth and then I got six and six so that's a tenth over a half a thousandth a tenth over a half a thousandth I got every time here so I think this first one I might have just been measuring wrong. That's why you take and measure more than once to make sure that you're coming up to the same thing. You want repeatability. 0 .0005 is what we're allowed. 0 to 6. So we're one tenth out of spec. <laughs> one tenth. You know everything, the taper looks good. It's not undersized, it's just one tenth out of round. So what do we do? What would you guys do? Would you go ahead and put a new 10 under rod on here and see what happens? Would you get it turned? You know this is right on the edge there. Let me know in the comments if you guys experienced anything like this or what you would do. If you know you're a tenth out of spec and I do feel a little bit of scratchies here. I think I don't try to polish this one myself. Um, and then after we polish it, I'll probably take some more measurements just to make sure. I, see, I can see there is wear on that bearing. <laughs> 